Okay, so this is part four. I apologize for all the different segments, but I've been dealing with this video camera since yesterday since I bought it. And I guess I'm still learning it. So, uh, I praise you, my Holy Father, His Holy Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is all about you and your glory. I love you so much. Amen and amen. Okay, so I was saying, I was coming to the end of, up to a few days ago, and I uh, wanted to mention a couple more interesting things that had happened. I purchased the RV on June 19, 2015 for $2,500, which if you add up all the numbers and the date, they equal to 40. Of course, you don't count the, the two zero for the 15. You could, it would be 2040, but um, it adds up to 40. Also, that was day 50 since I had left North Carolina, went to Florida, and came back. I realize that some people may not understand his love numbers, and I apologize if you don't, but I'm pretty sure some people will. It is something that he has taught me, not overnight, but through time spent with him. One more story. When I went to register the RV, I had mentioned I had two different people help me. Here's what happened. I went to the person at the desk, and everything went fine. I saw the timestamp of 2.22 p.m., and he told me the price, so I slid my bank card through the machine. Then he said it didn't take to try it again, so I tried it again. It still didn't take. How embarrassing these moments are. So I leave to go out to my car to call the bank and see what the problem is. For a fleeting second, you wonder, is there enough money in there? And then you know there should be. It was when I was in my car that I noticed the first person that served me leave in the car with a license plate that had the three twos on it. Amazing. I didn't realize that until much later when the Holy Spirit brought it back to my attention. I was too distraught in my car. I was in tears because I had prayed that everything would go smoothly. I called the bank and everything was fine, and they said it was an issue at the tag agency. So I say another quick prayer, and go. With, I go back inside. The line was even longer this time. They tell us all that their system... Oh, let me go back. I also used the ATM and drew out the funding that I need, because while I'm in line again, they tell us that their system is down for the credit card. So it comes my turn again, and I go up, this time to a different guy. He finishes everything, I pay him, and he has the tag kind of covered up still, but I still see the numbers. I'm saying to myself, this can't be, and I almost asked for another tag, but I knew this is what God wanted me to have. I now know what some of his ministry that I will be working in will be proclaiming. He has told me loud and clear through the license plate numbers. I was in tears on the way home and in much prayer and many more tears asking, but Lord, which I try not to do. You have probably already guessed it. Never in a million years would I have thought he would want this on his ministry vehicle. But the Holy Spirit had me look up that verse, Revelation 13:18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Yes, I have been giving the license plate number of D F N six 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 three. I asked the Holy Spirit what the letter stood for. D for don't. S for forget, N for numbers, the 666 saith God, because three is representative of God and three persons. After my woe is me moment, 
I began to lighten up and even laugh at the whole situation. Only God could cheer me up that way, and only He could have orchestrated all of this. So part of the ministry He will have me doing is proclaiming, Do not take the mark of the beast. He has also given me another dream the same night, June 18, 2015, that I looked at the RV for the first time. I can't remember hardly anything else other than he is sitting in the passenger side of the RV. He's sitting sideways in the seat, looking at the driver's side, but not really looking at anything. It was very quiet, and I say in my mind, I love you, King Yeshua. And then the next thing I remember, I somehow have my hands on the back of his seat, and he takes my hand and kisses it. How beautiful. Thank you for such an amazing experience, for words cannot describe how happy that made me. My everlasting, eternal beauty, lovely King, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, my Heavenly Father. And this concludes, as I said up until a few days ago, I have the RV, it's sitting in the parking lot outside, and we just have to work on it somewhat and uh, whenever he tells me to to go we're gonna go thank you for listening if you do not know King Yeshua HaMashiach or his other name Jesus Christ please he's so wonderful profess his name and believe in your heart that he died for you and that he was raised on the third day and he is alive forevermore. God bless everyone. Thank you.